things that you have not imagined will happen. Get ready to discover six simple but powerful ways to stop mind chatter once and for all. Why would I want that? This is about understanding the nature of your mind. Imagine your mind as a busy city. Horns honking, people rushing, noise everywhere. Now picture that same city at dawn, calm and still. That happens when you stop the constant chatter of the mind, bringing many advantages. Stopping the chatter in your mind helps you enjoy life more without all the distractions. When your mind is quieter, you have more space for peace, clear thinking, and being present. Many spiritual teachers like Sadhguru say that a quiet mind is important for well-being and even for becoming enlightened. It helps you connect more deeply with yourself and the world. One big benefit is less stress and anxiety. Quieting your thoughts helps you feel less stressed, like putting down a heavy backpack after a long day. You also get better focus and clarity. When your mind is quiet, it's easier to pay attention to one thing at a time, which helps you get more done. Another benefit is emotional calmness. When you quiet the voice in your head, it's easier to feel calm and balanced. Better sleep is another great result. When your mind is quiet before bed, you can fall asleep faster and sleep more deeply. A quiet mind also helps with better decision making. When you have fewer thoughts, you don't overthink as much, making it easier to trust yourself and make choices confidently. You also become more present. Without your mind racing, you can really enjoy what's happening right now, which makes life feel richer. Creativity also improves. When your mind is quiet, new ideas have more space to grow. Overall, your well-being gets better when you quiet your mind. You feel more at peace and connected to yourself, returning to a simpler and more natural way of being. Taking time to quiet your mind can make life clearer, happier, and more enjoyable. Embracing stillness makes everything shine a bit brighter. Many people think this is the key to reaching the Zen state. In Zen practice, the goal is to quiet your mind and let go of attachments. This makes room for true awareness, bringing a sense of peace and clarity, a state where you're fully in the present moment, free from distractions. Let's start with the story as an introduction to the first tip. Once upon a time, in the tranquil countryside, there were two monks traveling together on a pilgrimage. These monks were on a journey, traveling from one place to another as part of their spiritual journey. They were simple men, dedicated to their spiritual path and always helped those in need. One day, they came to a river. As they approached, they saw a young and lovely girl standing by the riverbank. She was in distress because there was no bridge and she needed to cross to the other side. The older monk, well versed in Zen teachings, saw her struggle and approached her. The elder monk, with deep compassion in his heart, decided to help the woman. Without a second thought, he gently lifted her onto his back and carried her across the river. He made sure she was safe on the other side, gently placing her down. After this act of kindness, the two monks continued their journey in silence. However, the younger monk was not at peace. He was struggling with his thoughts. He couldn't understand how his elder companion, a devoted monk, could break the rule of not touching women. His mind was troubled throughout the journey. After two days, the younger monk couldn't keep his thoughts to himself any longer. He turned to the older monk and asked, Brother, as monks, we are not allowed to have any contact with women. Why did you carry that girl across the river? What girl? The older monk smiled serenely and replied, I put her down on the other side of the river. Are you still carrying her? So some woman needs some help, he helped her, he left her there and went on. This one did not touch the woman, but now it's going on in his mind for two days. So the one who did what is needed, he left the woman there. The one who is trying to avoid the woman, he is full of that all the time. So this is not about the woman, this is not about something, this is about understanding the nature of your mind. If you say, I don't want something, only that will happen. Because in this mind, there is no subtraction or division. Forcefully, you cannot take out a single thought from your mind. Whatever you try to do, there is only plus one. 
addition and multiplication will happen. There is no subtraction and division in your mind. So you cannot forcefully take away a particular thought. It is just that if your aspiration is something else, all these things may evaporate. You want to go to the top of the mountain, you're very focused on that. What is it, the foothills is not your concern. If you avoid the foothills, how will you reach the top of the mountain? You will never reach. You're focused on top of the mountain, you'll cross the foothill and not even notice it. So he helped the woman, it was not a big issue. Probably he didn't even bother with it's a man or a woman. Somebody asked for help, he just helped and went on. But this man who's trying to avoid the woman, his mind is full of that. <laughs> A powerful technique to stop the chatter of your mind is to focus on our senses. That is focus on different sounds, smells, sights, colors, etc. This will instantly bring you back to your present because your mind can go to the past or future, but the senses can only experience what is present right now. So, if your mind starts talking about what the future would be, then gently tell your mind to listen to the sounds in the room where you are sitting. Listen to the sound of the fan, the chirping of the birds, or even the sounds of the vehicles on the road. Listen passively to these sounds and tell your mind that you are here with these sounds now. Tell your mind that the future is not here, these sounds are here. You are here. So, you can only live here. You can only think about what is here. You can only do something about what is here. You can use any sense, sight, touch, or smell. Use these to focus on where you are right now. Do this, and the future will take care of itself. You need to understand this. Why your mind is going on with uncontrollable, endless thought is you're identified with things that you are not. The moment you get identified with something that you are not, then mind is non-stop activity. You're identified with your body, the clothes that you wear, your hairstyle, your goatee also, aren't you? Your wife, your children, your family, your education, your religion, endless number of identifications. With all these identities, you want a quiet mind? There's no such thing. That's why we gave you a simple device called Shunya, where you create a little distance from the mind. Once you're disengaged from the mind, you're disengaged from all identity, because it's the mind which manufactures identifications, isn't it? So, don't think of all kinds of things, just employ the device. Things will happen. Things that you have not imagined will happen. Another powerful technique, a very simple thing you can do if you're having mind chatter, if your mind is racing. All you have to do to disarm it is to relax your tongue. Relaxing the tongue can instantly stop mind chatter due to the close link between tongue tension and the brain's speech mechanisms. When your tongue is tense, it signals the brain to prepare for speaking, which keeps the internal dialogue active. By consciously relaxing the tongue, you disrupt this signal, effectively telling the brain. There's no need to formulate words. This simple physical action can quiet the internal voice, leading to a calmer and more peaceful mind. It's an easy technique that leverages the mind-body connection to help silence excessive thinking without complex practices. So if you want, you could just try it right now. Don't do anything with your tongue. You just let it release and soften your eyes because our minds kind of tend to be on when with the eyes focus. So what you'll notice is as soon as that tongue's lets go, the voice can't speak. The reason for that is that whenever our minds get going, they're getting ready to speak it out loud and they can't speak with the tongue relaxed. So. When that happens, you'll notice that you're instantly present and you'll start to notice other things releasing. Other little holdouts, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, 
Because we have this wiring that when that mind gets weird, it all naturally goes away. So, if you have to be freed from this ailment, you should stop eating bad food. Wrong food or bad food means you are identifying yourself with things that you are not. If you are not identified with this and with this, then you will see everything is just fine, then your mind will do what you want it to do. Mind should not be telling its own stories all the time. It should tell the story that you want it to tell, isn't it? You don't have to freeze your brain, we will initiate you to Shambhavi. It's a simple process, there are many ways to do it, this is one simple way. But it's a powerful process. If you sit here, you will see your body is here, your mind is somewhere, who you are is somewhere else. Once there is a space between you and the mind, what the mind is doing is not even an issue. It is like, you know, you're struggling through the traffic. When you're in it, traffic. From really high up there, sitting in a hot air balloon, you look down, you can't even hear the sounds. Looks wonderful traffic, isn't it? Because there's a distance. So once there's a distance between you and your mind's activity, mind is not a problem. Mind is a miracle, it is not a problem. The moment you think there is some value to what you think, then you can't stop it. No way to stop it. It'll just go on and on and on. When you see there is absolutely no life value to your thought process, it is just memory recycling itself. It's just the same old nonsense recycling itself. But if you're excited, if you're enamored by this recycle, if you think it's great, you cannot stop it. If you see the patterns of what it is, if you see the stupidity of what it is, then slowly you will distance yourself and it will collapse because without attention it cannot go on. This last tip is the simplest and will surely succeed in stopping the chattering of the mind. Imagine that you already have probes connected to your brain that transmit your every thought to speakers, projecting them out loud for everyone around to hear. Just by picturing this scenario, you might find yourself becoming more mindful of your thoughts. I'm sure you wouldn't want others to hear what you're thinking. Knowing, or even pretending, that your thoughts are being broadcast can automatically encourage you to stop the internal chatter when you're near people. While this technology doesn't exist, visualizing that it does can be a playful and effective way to quiet your mind. Meditation is incredibly useful for stopping the chatter of the mind, but even more important is to choose one of these tips to use in your daily life. Practice it when you're sitting alone in a room, walking outside or waiting for a plane, bus or elevator. Quieting your mind during these everyday moments can greatly accelerate your journey toward higher consciousness.